Hi, this is Greg Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. Welcome to our short video series on medical laser training. Hi, in today's lab we're going to take a quick look at uh, fiber assessment, uh, cleaving and stripping. Now here we're using a um, homium YAG laser to demonstrate this, but the principle applies to any type of fiber laser when you use it. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do with this fiber is to mess up the tip of it. Um, so I'm going to fire that into something. Uh, here I have a homium YAG laser set on 1.2 joules and six times a second. And I'll do a close up here for you so you can see it firing into a piece of candy. And the only reason that I'm doing that is just to mess up the tip so we can create a new one. I'm using a piece of candy only because it was handy and all that sugar is really going to mess up the beam. Now look, as I come close, you can see that the spot coming out of this uh, Homium YAG laser, it uses a green guide light in this one, uh, is nice and round and symmetrical. So that's a nice tip. But let's fire this thing up and try to burn the tip up a little bit. The laser's ready. It's all this sugar in here that melts, and you can even set this stuff on fire if you want, but this is not typical of a medical use. It will, however, mess up the tip some. Okay, I pull it out, and now you can see, if I try shining this light down here, it's much more diffuse um, where the sugar candy has gotten on it. So let's fix that, and I'm gonna take a picture of the tip of this as well so you can see it. Okay, you can um, see here uh, that much more of the fiber is now exposed because the heat causes that plastic cladding to retract. Uh, so with all of that exposed extra fiber, light actually does come out through there. Not as strong as at the tip, but it comes out. And if you've got an endoscope optic right beside of that, it will heat craze it and burn it out. So that's a consideration. Uh, the fiber tip still works, but is significantly degraded. And then if you look at that plastic from the cladding, it's all balled up uh, there. That by itself doesn't really hurt anything. But the problem is, uh, if you're using an endoscope, it um, may be too large for the channel and it gets stuck in there and you have a hard time getting it out. Now, this uh, photograph is exacerbated because of the candy. It's usually not that bad when it's with uh, tissue and a regular endoscopic procedure, but this shows the point well with it anyway. Okay, the laser's now in standby, but I'm going to use a couple tools. One is a cleaver, and I'll show you a close-up of that tip here in a second. Um, that's what's going to, to cut the fiber. And the other is a fiber stripper, and you can buy different types that will pull the plastic off the tip of it. Now, on this Homium YAG laser, they're really small fibers. Most people do not strip the plastic because they'll kind of self-clean, but some do. Here, we're just going to go ahead and scribe it, and let me get in a little closer so you can see this. Okay, what I'm going to do is hold the end of the fiber firmly down on a surface and I use this um, blade not to cut through it but just to scratch the surface like you would uh, scratch glass and break it. So I'm going to put pressure on it, put a little pressure, go back and forth in my hand just till I feel the grit of the glass. I'm not trying to go through it. Now, I've done that, and I can see a small little glow where I've gone through the cladding, and the fiber is shining uh, through that portion. Um, now, I'm going to grab the tip of the fiber with my fingers, and what I'm going to do is to snap it right where I scribe through it. So, a little pressure on that. Yep, it breaks in half. Um, then I'm going to twist that loose end off of it. Try to show you that here. So I'm going to twist that off. Now I've got the bare fiber. And look at my beam. All of a sudden, I have a nice round beam, and that's what I want. Now on this homium YAG fiber, because it's small and it self-cleans, that's about all I would do to it. But let me show you how you would strip the cladding off. I don't have a um, stripper that fits this homium YAG fiber, uh, so I'll switch over and I'll do that on a larger neodymium YAG fiber for you. Okay, here's a um, fiber, a 600 micron fiber from a, a neodymium YAG laser, and I'll show you a close-up uh, of this tip. The plastic cladding goes all the way to the fiber tip, and generally on uh, larger fibers like this, 
that generate heat, you want to eliminate that because the plastic will kind of ball up and curl up and it doesn't hurt anything. It just keeps it from uh, being easily withdrawn from scopes and channels of scopes. So you get rid of not much, maybe one or two millimeters out of the end. Here is a stripper for that. You can buy different types. You'll insert it in the front of the stripper. Um, the blade that cuts the fiber is right in there, and I'll show you a close-up of that when I put it in it. Um, you have to size these according to your fiber size because you want to strip the plastic, but you don't want to cut the fiber in the process of doing it. So with this, I'm going to insert it, and I'm watching, so I'm visually looking uh, to get, oh, maybe a couple millimeters of the, the fiber through, and let me stop and I'll uh, show you a close-up of what that looks like. Here's a close-up of that uh, fiber stripper. Um, the fiber is put through, so only maybe two or three millimeters uh, come out. And you can see uh, all the exposed area of the fiber is what you're going to cleave off. Now, this fiber stripper and others as well do have little gauges on them. You can slide back and forth so that it'll preset your distance. You can do that and it'll set the distance so it stops on it and you get that distance uh, every time. But here in this video, and sometimes what's common practice, is you can just eyeball it too. Just put it through and eyeball it. And if you do make a mistake, well, no problem. Just, you know, do another cleave and then strip it again. Okay, I took a picture of that uh, so you'll be able to see it close up. I'm going to hold it. And as I do this, I'm going to squeeze uh, the arms together tightly and then briskly pull the fiber out, that's what strips off the cladding. I can kind of feel it with my fingers a little, uh, little bit, but let me take a close-up of that again, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, well, maybe I got a little carried away there. That is a little bit too much stripped out of there. You don't want light coming out sideways. But if I had half of that, I'd be happy. We'll just start again and do it again. Okay, now you have a nice new fiber, and you can start back to work again.